Hello, what's going on everyone? It's the Epic Cuber here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get back into cubing and also how to keep it interesting. And this video is completely based off of my own experiences because I am getting back into cubing myself. Getting into the first thing, I think it's important to start small. And what I mean by that is just if you have a couple minutes to do like an average of five or an average of 12 or something, you don't have to like sit down and force yourself to do like an average of 100 or something like that. And the reason for that is if you're trying to fit something into a day that you originally hadn't planned out, sometimes it's really hard to get it in there and then it can end up just getting pushed off, pushed off, pushed off. But if it's really small and it doesn't really affect the rest of your day to get started with, then you have a higher probability of actually doing it. A second thing is don't expect to be where you were immediately. And I mean that by averages and also kind of like what you're remembering as you're solving the puzzle. So in my last video, I explained that I was several seconds slower across the board on all my puzzles and even on the higher order puzzles like five by five, six by six, seven by seven, it got actually a lot worse and I ended up being significantly slower over those. And that's just gonna take some time to knock back down into the times that I used to be averaging. And so that's an expectation that I think is healthy for people to set as they're starting to get back into cubing. So now that you've started back into cubing, how do you keep it fun over a long period of time? And this is something that I struggled with because I've been doing this for years now, right? I've been solving Rubik's Cube since, shoot, like 2014, 2015, somewhere in that area. And there's also people who have solved for a lot longer than me who are still having fun with it and stuff. And so I thought, you know, what are they doing that makes it like really fun? How are they not getting burned out on this? Uh, and here's a couple of ideas. I think the first thing would just be set a challenge. If you have something to shoot for, you have a tendency to keep doing it and you have fun getting to that goal. So maybe set a goal for like, what average you wanna get by this specific date and then give you something to work towards. And that'll make it a lot more fun, kind of the process of getting into that and then it becomes a routine and it becomes really fun to just try and hit that goal. And then you get the reward of also hitting that goal when you finally do reach it. Another thing that you can do is just mix it up. If you're like me, you solve three by three like all the time. And I know a lot of people have like a main layered puzzle that they focus on. And that's great because that really kind of brings down time in that area. And that's a good way to get ready for competitions and stuff. However, there's also a lot of puzzles out there that can make cubing interesting again, and they make it interesting by learning something new. So there's even WCA puzzles. If you haven't been cubing for a very long time, maybe pick up a larger layered puzzle, like a five x five. Or you could even pick up a shape mod for a three x three. That's a really fun place to start for shape shifting puzzles. Or you could even get into another WCA puzzle, like a square one, which is completely different from all the other ones. And then even past that, if you've done all of those things, you can try and do puzzles that are like a three by three by four or a two by two by six or something crazy like that. That's just a new challenge for you to learn something new and kind of peak that excitement again. The next thing that you could do is go to competitions. I haven't been to that many personally, but I really want to get into more. Kind of as a side note, the reason why I haven't been to a whole lot of them is there's not a lot by where I live. But if you are in a place where you have access to cubing competitions, I highly recommend it because they are always a blast and it's a good way to test your skills and also have something to shoot for. Even after all of that, if you're not being interested in puzzles and you still want to do it more, maybe just take a break from it. That's what I did. I'm back, more excited than ever. Take a little bit of time off. It doesn't have to be as long as I did. Maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month or something like that, and then come back and get excited for it again. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you got some good tips out of this. Sad that we have just reached the end of this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And if you like more content, please subscribe. I'm the Epic Cuber, and you have an epic day. Bye.